Welcome back. In this video, we start showing the Java implementation in our attempt to solve the traveling salesman problem using simulated annealing. I must say here that the code I'm going to display and explain belongs to Lee Jacobson. You can see the website at the bottom of the slide. What I have done here, I have adapted the code, I have made some changes and added some more comments so the code um, is more understandable and uh, more, more usable. Uh, let's go ahead to the code. In the beginning we're going to have a class named city to model a city. In it we will have the coordinates of the city, the x and y coordinates. So what, what we're going to use that to um, compute the distance between any two cities. Remember the traffic is a problem. We said that there is a path between one city and the, all of the remaining cities. So there is a path uh, basically between all the cities, all of them are interconnected. And you can you can imagine the cities now on being on a map where each city has an X and Y position, right? Or, or you can imagine maybe an X, Y plot and each city holds a place. So we're going to give it an X uh, 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 coordinate and a Y coordinate, right? So here we have the constructor. Um, we pass it the x and y when we create a new city and we also give it a name and these are the usual setters and getters right we do set and get methods for all of the three variables so modeling a city is quite nice and simple in this sense um, we will also have a class to model a tour so our tour is what is basically a list of cities right if you remember and by the way if you're not familiar with the traveling salesman problem I have a simple explanation on my YouTube channel. You can watch it. Uh, I would love you to watch that before watching <coughs> the, uh, this series. So um, the tour is a list of consecutive cities, right? So we can start from you know the starting city and then the next one, then the next one, the next one, the next one, all the way uh, uh, to the final city. And here we have our list to hold the cities, which is called tour, and we will have two constructors one of them to start an empty tour so we just basically fill out this list with you know with null basically with no cities empty cities um we get the number of cities from the tour manager we, we go we'll, we'll see what the tour manager class is about and we have another constructor that creates a, a tour right it, it creates a tour from an existing one right just it just copies it right uh, as you can see here and then a method to return the array list which is the list of cities the tour and here what we do is we create a random tour ie a random individual or random or candidate solution so what we do here is we fill not fill no, we fill the uh, uh, the tour with cities and then we just randomize them right so we fill it with cities and then Randomize it. We, I will show you how we add cities in the uh, upcoming videos. And then here we just return a city using its index in in the list of cities in the tour. And then here we can set a certain city again using its index in the tour in the list of cities, right? And then we have here a useful method that can loop through all the um, the cities in our tour and then computes the total distance so from one city from the first city to the second from the second to the third from the third to the fourth all the way up to the final city right um, what we do here we just use a for loop to loop to go through to go over all the cities of our tour right and then we return the total distance and then here just the tour size is just the number of cities in in the number of cities in the list so it's just the tour dot size and then a simple method the two string here to display the list of the cities in their current order, right? Just to uh, keep track of, of, of them. Okay, so these are two classes, one city, one called city to model city, one tour to model a tour, which is a list of cities. And the next two classes, in the I'm sorry, in the next video, we will explain these two classes, the tour manager and the utility class. After that, we will see how exactly the simulated, simulated annealing algorithm works. So I'm going to stop here. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.